the lady had been washing dishes and she had seen it through the, through the kitchen window. Um, they phoned me. Um, I went, went over there, but by the time that I arrived, it had um, gone inside their roof, the ceiling, um, from outside the eaves into the ceiling. I climbed onto the roof, but as I climbed onto the roof, the, the snake um, sort of darted into one of the, the Albizia trees that was um, lying over the roof. So I wasn't able to get it immediately. Um, so I went and sat at the edge of the roof, and then it, it gradually came back towards me. And I was able to catch it. Uh, we basically a bunch of us uh, that belong to um, Park, which is the Association of Reptile Keepers. Uh, we've gotten together, um, all of us being snake catchers, and um, yeah, we've put a little project together specifically on the black mambas. Uh, we want to try and understand a little bit more about them, um, establish growth rates and sex ratios, and all sorts of things. And so we've put a little project together, um, which is funded by ourselves. And yeah, we just pretty much want to uh, get a database going on um, all the mamba activity, where we're catching them, um, where we release them. And um, yeah, over the years, we'll be able to get a lot of valuable information on black mambas. Right, so the measurement is uh, 1.55 meters. Best thing for a member of the public to do if they encounter a snake on their property would be to um, open the telephone directory. Um, there's a number of people listed there under, under the word snake. Um, they could also go onto the internet, Google the word snake or snake catcher. There's a number of numbers that will be there. People can also go onto the SACAN website, our numbers uh, will be listed there as well. As volunteers we do this uh, purely for the love of the animals. We love reptiles, we, um, you know, we understand them um, like most people don't and we want to help them. And we also want to help the people that we understand don't like the animals the way we do. So what you can see in the window behind me or in the, the cage behind me is um, uh, some captive green mambas that have been kept uh, uh, from hatchlings, uh, so they're probably a few years old now. Um, they are looking a little bit dull at the moment, purely because they're going to be shedding their skin. They go through a, a process and the, the skin becomes quite milky in colour. In the event that somebody should get bitten by a snake and they're um, not sure whether it's a venomous snake or not, uh, the best thing would be to get that bitten person into a car and off to hospital immediately. Um, what you can do on the way to hospital is you can get on the phone to uh, your medical service provider or you can phone the hospital that you're going to and just let them know that you're on your way and that you've had a snake bite uh, just so that they can prep before you get there. Um, but that's the most important thing is just to get to medical help straight away. If you're a member of SA Can um, and you haven't already added your um, personal information into their database, um, I encourage you strongly to get that done. Uh, and this will help if you were, um, if you needed to get to hospital in the event of a bite or anything. Um, at least when you get to the hospital, uh, all your uh, personal details are already on the system, and it, it saves a lot of time.